So why yeah. am I here? I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When he... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. There might be a way to deal with my... <gasps> man, the crap out of me makes you feel better. That's like... I'm all for it. I, I can't mad, but that's I... like... That's like a... At least... Oh, wait, hold on. Three months? Four months? Damn, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really do. And I'm happy that the, you're coming back and staying with me. He's and just going to be standing there. And I'm sorry you have a sore throat. Is it the aftermath of the wedding? <laughs> oh? Hey, brother! Thank you for the 17 month resub! Jeez! Thank you, thank you. I hope you're alive too. I hope the wedding that you attended went okay too. And you think so? I'll make sure to rest. Where have I seen this before? And drink lots of seaweed honey. Aloy. I mean, I don't it know how hot is there. I would not do guests. that at the moment. I'm but... glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Mm -hmm. Sorry to disappoint. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. It's kind of going back and forth. Some days hot, some days rainy. Traditionally, winter. <laughs> Have you talked to any of our new? Well, I friends? hope to experience it one Aaron day. and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Oh. I went to a wedding where everyone caught COVID a couple of years ago, so that was fun. Oof. Yeah. That's not fun. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Unless Thanks. it's not COVID, because the two times I've had it, I get a fever first, and then some throat comes later. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Well, I hope it's not, and you're just like tired and need to rest and all. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I had... I had COVID earlier this year, like in... Um, January and I'm, February, uh, even though the test didn't like show, order. but... I could do yours if you want. Honestly, I it kind of felt like that. Yeah, of course. Aloy, it seemed to you take came it back with ways. some interesting terms and it's always a friends. Uh, I wish I could say we don't need them. Yeah. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. For me, yeah. it was the throat first Enemy of my enemy and all so, that, right? Rip. Right. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. Hi, Yanina. So, uh, Katala tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been mm -hmm. busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. Indeed, that's fun. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug <laughs> face of his? I would want to done. get at least one hit. Sure. I confess. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Do you think so? We'll be okay. I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. 
I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That yeah, keeps Aww. the rest of us level-headed. You, uh, talk to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. Yeah, I don't trust her. Oh, we you don't really have a choice. Me. Oh. Hey. Honestly, like, it's kind of like, I do want to upgrade that weapon that I got, but... Aloy. I've been very you, unlucky with the you, parts. You flew? Kotala told me! And took out Regala's machines? Oh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data oh? on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht, an entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted, not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. Yes, they are very much deadly. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? <laughs> Guess the more the merrier. Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. We'll see how that turns out. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The Silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. <laughs> How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him he well, is but sassy. I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Arend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Oh. We won't let the Zeniths get away with what they've done. Everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. And you? Nervous. But I'm ready too. Don't worry. We'll get through this together. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. <laughs> yeah, she's not that welcoming. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. 
the archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. Ay -ay -ay -ay. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. Oh no, we created a rebel. For that, oh. Thank you, Aloy. I'm sure people will things, appreciate them. Stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. I mean, Since I'm kind of curious. So Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zeniths from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. Why well, that didn't work out now? You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a Sarah to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. Except to a Sarah. Hmm. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. <sighs> that doesn't fully answer my question. No. But I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Uh-huh. Of course. How did you get a Sarah to work for you? I knew there was an associate of the Asaram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised her Regala, and the Tanakh. The Sarah would help you create a machine-riding army, and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. 
And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self-interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly Ex so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those yes. run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> Bruh. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, just call it a feeling. Uh -huh. A feeling? You mean you finally had one? <laughs> Guess even you can change, Silence. Damn. You go, girl. Uh, before I forget, I watered those plants for you. Oh. I just know they meant a lot to you, and uh, I, well. Thank you, Larry. Oh, que vai escutá-lo. Oh, do you want to talk with her? Sure, why not? Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for oh. a time. Oh! Okay, so what happened? I was okay. an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. I know who she is. I just realized have I have to Google if I'm right or drinks. wrong. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway I think she's across scary the world and most. every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother 
a few years back, I filled a void for her. I know I did, but as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less. Yes, I was more. right. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. All this time since last episode, I was thinking about who she is. She sounds so familiar. She looks so familiar. I was like, I'm pretty sure I knew sh who she is. And then I was looking her face more and her voice. And I was like, I know she's from Matrix. She's Trinity. I just, I don't think, the reason I think I didn't recognize her first is the blonde hair. Because I got used to see her with dark hair. Oh my god, that's so cool that she's in this. Damn. Okay. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art Thank stored you, in its How depths. Are you doing? Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? You just say be oh I've yeah, it's that very for a thousand years. Late for you. She I was think. brilliant. Vision. We'll go sleep then. She cared so deeply for the world. For the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think in the end she had a core that she never let anyone be, be part me. of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment we've learned our lesson. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but Regardless of how it functions, 
I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. Hmm. So, Eric, was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? <laughs> I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare, he found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he Eesh. retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of his tribe believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him, though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such, had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzineth. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior, is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough, and the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. I think he was a Zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual Damn. reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. Honestly, I have he a feeling that there is that more of his behind this colony destruction. Survived. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths for Bena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What? Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. I really don't like how she's talking about the others. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. 
our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self-hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. You said before that you're not like the others, Enos. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity know, became a means of survival. Uh, both when Earth full was consumed and BS. when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here. I don't know about then. this lady. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Hmm. Not even us, right? Oh, there it is. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings. I see. And leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves. It will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie. It was pretty, pretty epic. Good. I can only imagine. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and, and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zenith. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Catalo. Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. Her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes, only more persistent. I have to go. We but talk I'll be with everyone. I will give. Understood. A little bit of try. I talk with everyone. 
We're taking those space lugs down. Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? No. Very good. I All decided right, that we good. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also- Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Oh? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Oh! Sans is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. I think... Oh my god, are you gonna... Like, I don't wanna... Theorize. You guys, but are we gonna, like... Destroy the Zenith base, and then Tilda's gonna backstab us, and then... We're gonna have to fight her now? We need to get Silent's weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. That sure sounds like a theory. I'll be gentle Miss... with it. I promise. I don't want to tell it. <laughs> Good. Without it. Well. There's no payback. Don't worry. 
Payback's all I think about. Aloy, are we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I don't I think it's a bad theory. Songs already. We see if I'm gonna be right. I don't even know if I'm gonna remember this by the time it comes. If I said this. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. You just saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't mm -hmm. want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to the Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. Aww. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. <laughs> no time like the present, though. If you're up for it. You know what? Even if we don't do the main quest, we can just like talk with everyone. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? I don't want to miss yeah. that drink with him. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. But it's the drink, though. Oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Jaron's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. <laughs> and the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but... But what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so <laughs> he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. And yeah, perfumes, Damn. veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. <laughs> she made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. Damn. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. Okay. I that was guess fun. I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way.
Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Xenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So. He asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere, how every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Same too. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. <laughs> I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? Oh boy. I mean, I will do it, but I don't want it to happen to you too. You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me, or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Fadera? Who's this Federa you mentioned? She is another diviner. One of our best. Oh, I see. We used to be rivals at the academy. I see who she is. I hated her guts. But apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. Oh. We became very close. And then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me. No matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. <laughs> I That's want you to sweet. know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Well. Tala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katalo will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather 
rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Hopefully. Did oh, you I need can. Something? Oh. Something else? I'll be going. As you wish. Okay. That was nothing. <laughs> Whoever replaced parchment for this deserves a good hammering. Uh... There you are. Would you like to continue our chat? I should be going. I'll be I don't know, final she's so weird. Stop it, Cotella. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Cotalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together. And I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm, before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Again? Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. Uh, I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. I can take in. Yes, Aloy? I have to go. I will see you on the battlefield. I did talk with everyone. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. The coming battle won't be easy.